Hello, my name is Florina Kimi and my metric number is 07DKM19F1027. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Daniel Tau Kinchen and my metric number is 07DKM19F1026. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Eliana Binti Johari and my metric number is 07DKM19F1024. Hello, my name is Alfred Atlee Lewis. My metric number is 07DKM19F1046. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Muhammad Aslijan bin Al-Namid. My digital number is 07DKM19F1003. Autodesk Inventor is a computer edit design application for 3D mechanical design, simulation, visualization, and documentation developed by Autodesk. Through the whole semester, our lecturer have teach us some features in Autodesk Inventor software. The example of its features are it allows 2D and 3D data integration in a single environment, creating a visual representation of the final product. That enables users to validate the form, fit, and function of the product before it is ever built. So, in this project, our group have been assigned a task to make an oven. So, by using the assembly features, we will create our oven using Autodesk Inventor software. This is our final design of the oven project, which is after doing all the parts of the oven, we assembly it to create a model of our oven. In the assembly process, we are using the constraint command and then we click the mate uh, part, part by part and finally we use flush command to make sure the part didn't moving around. Next, this is our exploded view for our oven design, which is after finish the assembly process, we move it to the presentation process to do the uh, to do the exploded view for this design. So, for the exploded view, firstly we remove the top oven. And then we remove the side of oven left and right, then the back oven, then the oven stand, next the handle of the oven following by the button, LED temperature reader, LED light, the glass frame, the place button, the front frame, solid track, rack retainer, and then the heating rod, and lastly, the base of the oven. So this is the presentation for the exploded view. Next, we move to the part list of the oven design. After we do the exploded view, we move it to the drawing block to do some labels for the part list. As you can see, there are 16 parts of our oven design. First part, we are doing the base of the oven which is the quantity is 1. For the the, the second part, we are doing the outer side, which is the quantity is 2. And for the third part, we are doing the back side, which is the quantity is 1. Part number 4, we are doing the heating rod, which is the quantity is 2. Part number 5, we are doing the frame, the quantity is 1. Part number 6, we are doing the glass frame, quantity is 1. And then part number 7, we are doing the oven stand, which is the quantity is 4. Then part number 8, we are doing the place button, quantity is 1. The part number 9, we are doing the 
we, we are doing the button which is the quantity is 2 part number 10 we are doing the LED light quantity is 1 part number 11 we are doing the red retainer which is the quantity is 2 part no number 12 we are doing the solid rack the quantity is 2 is 1 part number 13 we doing the temperature reader the quantity is 1 part number 14 we are doing the wire holder the quantity is 1 and then part number 15 we are doing the handle quantity is 1 and lastly part number 6 we are doing the top oven the quantity is 1 that's all from me thank you okay let's move to the next part which is i will explain the parts of the oven okay so this is the first part which is base so the height of this base is 340 mm and the width is 15 millimeters and the long of this base is 240 mm okay next we move to the second part which is outer side as we can see there is a hole there for heat control in and out this outer side is 300 millimeters times 240 millimeters dimensions the width of this outer side is 15 millimeters okay next the third part is back side the head of the oven is 300 millimeters with 370 millimeters long the width of this back side is 10 millimeters only this back side has holes for heat control with 60 times 10 millimeters dimension so this is the fourth part of the oven which is heating rod so this heating rod has 300 millimeters long with the diameters of 10 millimeters okay this is the fifth part of the oven which is frame so the dimensions of this frame as same as the dimension of the back side of the oven which is 370 millimeters times 300 millimeters the width of this frame is 20 millimeters the hole of this frame is for the glass frame that i will explain just in time so this is the part that i meant just now the width of this glass frame is 10 millimeters and the height of this frame is 200 millimeters times 240 millimeters next part that we made is oven stand so the diameters of this oven stand circle shape is 50 millimeters with the height of 25 millimeters this is the part that we place the button of the oven it has width 5 millimeters only because it is a plate so this rectangular shape has 80 millimeters times 260 millimeters dimensions this is the specific detail about the button that i just explained just now so the width of this button is 15 millimeters plus 6 millimeters for the handle the diameter of this button is 60 millimeters of the diameter and the handle is 44.14 millimeters of the handle the 10 part that i will explain is led light this led light is very small it is because it has only 6 millimeters of width and the diameter of this LED light is only 15 millimeters. Rig retainer. The length is 220 millimeter and the height is 10 millimeter. Okay, next solid rock. The length of this solid rock is 340 millimeter and the inside length is 310 millimeter and the width is 300. 10 millimeter and the inside is 170 millimeter after that temperature reader is high 
dimensi is 50 mm and the width is 10 mm. After that, wire holder. The first diameter is 40 mm. Second diameter is 30. The third diameter is 20 and the small diameter is 10. 10 the handle. The length is handle 320 mm the width is 45 mm and the inside hole length is 190 when 18 millimeter and next we'll move on to the top oven the length of the top oven is 370 millimeters the width for the top oven is 290 millimeters the thickness of the top oven is 10 millimeters. Uh, so as you can see here, this is the orthographic view of our oven. To conclude this project, the objective has been achieved as we have learned to use the Autodesk Inventor software. Me and my group members successfully finished this project in the time given and can understand all the features and functions in this software in order to create an oven for this project. This project is consequential and meaningful because we have gained a lot of experiences and this will definitely assist us in completing the designing tasks in the near future. We also understand all the features and functions needed in this Autodesk Inventor software in order to create a project. That's all from us. Thank you.